Hey what's up guys and girls and welcome back to Savage Gaming and a quick tutorial in Stranded Deep and today I'm going to show you guys how to cure yourselves from being poisoned. So uh, there are two ways that you're going to get poisoned in this game. The first one is via a snake. They sort of hide in the grass here. When you get too close they will uh, rattle so that sort of gives you a bit of a warning. And then the second way uh, that you get poisoned is by stepping on these uh, starfish looking things. So the, the actual starfish don't do anything, it's just this anemone looking type one here. If you walk over that you will get poisoned. So that's the two main ways that you are going to get poisoned in the game. And in order to cure yourself, we're we going to uh, need a couple of things first. So let's go into our crafting menu, we're going to go to the consumable tabs up top here. And we are going to scroll down to look for antidote. So for antidote, we're going to need a pee, pee plant. And we are going to need a coconut flask. To make the coconut flask, we need a whole coconut and one lashing. So that's what we're going to look for now. So let me show you guys how to get the, or how to find the pee, pee plants. So you'll see here, like, there's this little ajuga plant. It's got it's got this little these leaves growing on the outside around it. There's there's quite a few of these little outcrops all over the place. But what you're looking for is you're looking for an outcrop like this, with a yellow flower on top. So that is your pee, pee plant. So I see I've got two here, and you are going to need. Let's have a look here. Let's get uh, four fibrous leaves quickly. One two three and one more there's a little thing four okay and then we're gonna craft a lashing because we're gonna need that we're gonna need a coconut as well so let's see is there maybe a short coconut tree here for us yes there is we'll grab that one and we're gonna open up our crafting menu go back to consumables create the flask now we've got a coconut flask in our backpack and then we're going to go back to the crafting menu, back to consumables and you'll see we can now craft the antidote as we have our pee, pee plant and we have our coconut flask. And we're going to craft that and equip and now you can drink it if you're poisoned. That's as simple as that. The, the other thing you want to do if you're not sure if you are poisoned, uh, hold down F so you bring up your, your watch and left click twice and it'll tell you your status effect so it'll that'll say you're healthy or you're bleeding or you're poisoned it'll give you your various status effects in the game and that's how you can just check if you're not sure that you've been poisoned or anything like that because it's, it's it's a similar effect when you know when you step on those things or get bitten by the snake it's a very similar effect to when you get bitten by a shark or, or you know hit by a crab or a ball so the, the animation is the same, so sometimes you get confused, you're like, oh, was I poisoned or, you know? So you can just use your watch to check and make double sure, and once you've drank your, your, your cure, your antidote, you'll be fine. You'll, you'll, your um, poisoning status effect will disappear immediately. And that's it for this video, guys. I hope it was informative. Please leave a like if it was, and please subscribe if you want to see more, guys. I do appreciate the support, and as usual, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.